Hi guys, Mike from We Built Stuff. Today we're going to start on how to use T-Nuts, choosing your audio, screen mounting, and adding a back door to the arcade. Now all my cuts were based on my perfect AutoCAD plans. Sometimes you have to trim stuff to make it fit. You'll see what this part's for. To hold on this piece, this back panel to the arcade, I'm going to be using T-Nuts machine bolts. These are number 10 by 24. These are two inches long. They match these. I'm going to measure in half an inch from the edge, straight line, five inch from the bottom, five inch from the top, and drill some holes. I'm going to be using two different sizes of drill bits. So the smaller drill bit is meant for the bolt, that's just a through hole. And the other drill bit is going to be used for the T-nut, as this outer part here is slightly larger diameter than the bolt itself. It'll make sense when I do it. I'm going to drill through these just enough to put a little hole in the blocks behind it and then I'm going to enlarge those holes. I'm going to use my larger drill bit for here and install the T-nuts. So next, the T-nut is going to go on the back of it. Some people are content with just hammering it in and leaving it. I'm going to put a little block of wood just behind there to prevent it from falling out. And I'll show you that in close-up after. I'm going to nail in a small wooden block, just enough to still let the, uh, the bolt go through, but just to hold in that T-nut, prevent it from falling out. I've had that happen in the past, and it's quite annoying to have to open everything up just to reinstall a T-nut. So, a little bit of glue, nail, one or two is good. And now, it's gonna stay in place, no problem. I'm gonna do that to the rest of them. So I've done that to all four. One, two, three, four. Let's install the back panel now. Almost any time that you're gonna see one of these, I'm gonna put a finishing washer on it. I've got these at Home Depot or just about any other hardware store that'll sell fasteners like this. It just gives it a little bit of a nicer touch. So there's the back piece on. Don't those look nice? Oh yeah. I'm gonna do the same thing now with the front panel. Now why on earth am I making these removable if I'm not putting anything in there? This is for future, because what if you want to put a mini fridge in down below, or customize something, or take that off and install a 12 inch subwoofer? So many choices. Alright, this has been an awesome day. 
building. Front and the back panels on. The control panels mocked up. Just about all the hardest stuff is done. I'm really happy that I took my time to do the proper layout and really tried to think about everything I could. So yeah, this is pretty exciting. It's got wheels on the bottom so it's super easy to move around. And I think I'll be using this little amp right about there. Leave me a comment, what do you guys think? So I'm basically planning out how do I make a cut while only showing the screen part of this television. I want to hide the border and all that stuff going around it or pretty close. So I'm taking my time, measuring it, make sure it's in the middle, even. Using this cool chamfer bit is going to give me a nice angle on the inside. I could have just left it straight, but this does make it look a little cooler. Unfortunately, I screwed up on a couple of my cuts, you can see right there, so that just needs some wood filler, and when I paint over it, it'll hide everything. Top piece on, my speaker holes cut out and the panel attached. Cut out the screen marquee, I guess you can call it that. I still have some filler to do. I had some couple cuts, I went just a little bit deeper than I wanted to. Used an awesome little router bit to give a cool little edge here. And tomorrow, I'll add some blocks that will support this whole thing. 
and then the blocks that are actually going to hold the screen in place. Overall, I think this thing is looking sweet. Now, I started doing this method for attaching monitors a few years back, and I've kind of just stuck with it. Changed it up for each screen, because every screen has a different shape on the back. But overall, I find this works out pretty good. I take a couple more pieces, just like the blocks I use for support on the inside, figure out my measurements for where they're going to go, and where they're going to attach to the TV. Lay it out, glue them in, maybe add another T-nut. The T-nuts are going to allow for some removable clamps that I custom make based on the size of the TV. You'll see that in later detail as we go. Cut up some more pieces. These blocks are for the top. Just again, old scrap 2x4. I had to get some longer machine screws. These are 10 by 24, two and a half long. That way they're just long enough to go down there to the T-nut at the bottom. Same thing over here. These are just, again, simpler pieces. They will work just fine. This is not gonna be under a lot of forces, so it shouldn't be going anywhere. So this is the simplest way that I found for mounting for cheap material. I still can't believe that I used up all my mustard already. Having to use regular glue, I guess it's okay. I'll be all right. I'm leaving a small space here for the plexiglass that's going to be going in front of all of this. And there's a little block down there to stop it from sliding. So I'm building just a very simple door for the back. This is going to give you access to change things, etc. You can put a lock on it. I'm going to end up just using a magnet to keep it shut. And I picked up a very short hinge from Home Depot. So many of these pieces are never going to come off. However, I wanted everything to still kind of match. So I kind of like that T-nut look.
What I should have done was put a small shim under the door so that it doesn't rub when closed. Later on, I have it sand it a little bit so it doesn't rub. 